verses 17 and 18. And I said to them, you see the trouble we are in. Jerusalem lies in ruins. Its gates have been burned with fire. Come, let us rebuild the wall of Jerusalem, and we will no longer be in disgrace. I also told them about the gracious hand of my God upon me and what the king had said to me. They replied, let's begin rebuilding. And so they began this good work. This is a great part of the story. They've come to the same day we're at here. This, this time to get moving and to get working. Nehemiah, at this juncture, summons his people to action. He, he identifies who he is, and he makes his mission public. This is the fourth P of planning. Publis, uh, promote and publicize. Promote and publicize. Where you ask the question, how will I communicate the vision? When you, uh, when you think about uh, what happens in life, changes that are made, it all comes down in the end, does it not, to the power of words? Words are what get things done. Words are what moves the hearts of men and nation. This is a day that shall live in infamy. We're words that summoned a nation to war. When President Kennedy announced that we were going to land a man on the moon by the end of the 1960s, those words summoned a nation to exploration. When, when Ronald Reagan stood in front of the Berlin Wall and said, Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall, he was summoning Eastern Europe to freedom. It's no different when, when it comes to rebuilding our lives. Nehemiah's opening salvo here. This is his first speech to the Jerusalem people. This is the first chance they get to know him. And it's a, a brilliant illustration of good vision casting. When, when we're trying to bring about uh, good change in, in, in others, in, in our community, our business, our church, there are three parts to a good vision casting message. Nehemiah, Nehemiah begins, I need a short name for him, Nehi. He begins by saying, you see the trouble we are in, Jerusalem lies in ruins, its gates have been burned with fire. So what's the first part of a good vision casting message? What do you do first? You identify the problem. What every good commercial does, right? Remember that holy discontent that you're feeling inside? Now you have to convince others to feel that way also. How do, you, uh, how do you do this without coming off as some sort of whiner or complainer? I want you to look at what Nehemiah does here. Does he point fingers? Does, does, he, does he say, look at the trouble you're in, you nimrods? You know what he says? What's he say? Look at the trouble we are in. Come, let us rebuild the wall. And, and we will no longer be in disgrace. That's good vision casting. I'm not above you. We're together in this. Next, secondly, don't just identify the trouble. Then what do you think you got to do? Provide a solution. Look what he does. Come, let us rebuild the wall of Jerusalem. Simple. A whiner is somebody who just points out the problem. A winner is somebody who provides a solution to the problem. It's easy to point out things that are wrong. It takes no training to be a malcontent or a naysayer or a squeaky wheel. They're a dime a dozen. But to provide a solution, to provide a way out, to provide a way through, those people are rare. And a good planner doesn't stop there. The third part of good vision casting is you then give reasons for your solution. Here's the problem. Here's what we're going to do about it. And here's why we're going to do this. And, and Nehemiah gives those reasons right here. He says, come, let us rebuild. And then he explains why they need to do it. I told them that the gracious hand of God was upon me. And, and what the king had said, hey, guys, this solution isn't just pie in the sky. By and by, it's not Pollyannish. My solution has somebody holding it up. We've got the backing of the king himself. This is publicity and promotion at its best. Sadly, Businesses understand publicity and promotion a lot better than most churches do. I just I googled the other day, and I want to show a series of slides of of advertisements or messages on church signs. 
You tell me whether this, th these are good publicity or promotion. Let's show the first one. Okay. Do you know what hell is? Come hear our preacher. Wh what do you think? What do you think? Is that good advertising? Let's show the next one. Don't let worries kill you. Let the church help. <laughs> that one's funny. <laughs> 